Every good thing comes to an end, and Khabib Nurmagomedov's career as a fighter and later as an MMA coach were also some of those things. Yep, you heard it right, Khabib has said goodbye to his coaching career as well. And honestly, there's so much to talk about. So I'll begin with his retirement news. Khabib Nurmagomedov, he is a monster. I look at that, I'm like, please tap, just please tap. You're not gonna get out of that. Incredible, incredible performance. By At an age when many fighters don't even think about retiring, Khabib said goodbye to the UFC for good. And that's when he decided to coach other young fighters. Thank you. Today, I want to say, this, it was my last fight. And no way I'm going to come here without my father. But now he's done with coaching as well. It looks like he doesn't feel like being on duty all the time. Apparently, Khabib wishes to spend more time with his family now, and that totally makes sense. Last week on Friday, he took to Instagram and announced that he'd be leaving his role as a coach so that he could be with his family. Fans had a mixed reaction to this announcement, so why don't we look at some of those responses? When he posted a picture of himself in his native village along with his relatives, fans showered love and support on him. Khabib holds quite a lot of significance in the fighting world. Rob Tavares, Nirmaga Menoff really dropping bombs now with those elbows. And Tavares is all but out here, that'll do it! Habib Nirmaga! After all, he's the first fighter to have hailed from Dagestan. On top of that, he's also the first Muslim fighter to win a UFC championship. Many of his fans praised him for returning home and meeting all the young relatives he has. These fans also talked about how these players might follow in Khabib's footsteps in the future. Apart from fans, another person also talked about this matter, and that was Javier Mendez. Mendez, who previously served as Khabib's coach. Khabib is more the coach than I am. I'm more the mentor to Khabib, and, and I am a coach to all those other guys. But the show with the Eagle Dagestan boys is run by Khabib stated that he doesn't want to miss being a father. Not just that, he also stated that Khabib had talked to him about this a few weeks ago, and he had told him about this plan. Khabib also told him about his plan to talk to the team and inform them of his decision. Mendez believes that Khabib is doing this for all the right reasons, since he's a family man and he wants to spend time with them. Looking back, you can see how Khabib left his fighting career while he was literally on top. And now, as a coach, when his trained fighters are set to participate in big fights, he has said goodbye. But but this calls for a question. What's next for Khabib? He's announced his retirement, but his fans would still want to see him. On top of that, it's hard to believe that he's done with the UFC and MMA for good. Kind of jumps over the guard of Chalabrus. Chalabrus tried to turn his back, but that only opened up a rear naked choke for Khabib Nurmagomedov and uh, and with this announcement, I believe he must have some other plan in tech, too. From his post on Instagram, it looks like he's training more little Khabibis. But is that all? That's a question that literally everyone is asking at the moment. Some fans have speculated that he'll return as a coach, but given the record, I can say for sure that a return is not happening. He might coach Islam for a couple of matches because, after all, he's his cousin and they've been working together for so long. But even that is uncertain, and no one can be sure about that. Champion of the world, Islam Magadja. It's very much possible that Khabib handed his fighters over to other coaches, but still he has to do something, and some assume he might be all set to get into politics. Stepping away from MMA and going back home might lead to another beginning, and a political career seems very much an option for Khabib. But here's the answer, he's not interested in politics, as of now. When the assumptions about this matter started rising and fans actually started giving out theories about how Khabib could be the next political leader, the Russian media had to answer the questions. According to TASS.RU, Khabib is not expected to pursue a career in politics, but instead he's more into his family. But at the same time, they've also revealed that Khabib might be focusing on another sport right now. Okay, well, another sport? I'm curious. According to the report, he might actually be looking forward to some football-related business in the future. This makes me want to ask another question. Is he going to switch careers? Is he thinking of becoming a footballer now? It seems unlikely because he isn't really at the age where people people usually become footballers. At his age, they're either stars or sidekicks, but not the noobs. Dustin Poirier's arms are, and it's not really, that's in, that's in. Nurmagomedov under the chin, there's the top! Khabib Nurmagomedov!
Also, they said that he's into some business, which ultimately means that he might be looking to invest in football. He has a net worth good enough to do that, and it's unlikely for someone like him not to do anything at all after retiring. So, what's this business that he's thinking about? So, BR Football revealed on Twitter that Khabib and Clarence Seedorf have now announced a new football school that'll be established in Dubai. The school will be Seedorf Khabib Performance Club, and it'll be a combination of football and mixed martial arts. So, the participants will essentially learn two sports in one school. That's quite unique, actually. All right, let's talk a bit more about it. So what is it exactly, and what's the motive? SKPC will soon be open for students to arrive and start training. It's a revolutionary football academy, as they claim it to be. The school's main aim is to integrate the knowledge and discipline of martial arts with the techniques and skill development of football. As per the statement, this will ensure that all the young players become the best versions of themselves. The website of the school is also live, and it says that they'll preach how important risk is for every player who's participating in their academics. According to their official statement, this school is actually a global network of performance clubs, and these clubs will collectively work to create opportunities for young players. They'll teach them the values of equality, friendship, inclusion, and respect. While the main motive is amazing, it looks like Khabib has finally found something unique to do. But I wonder if he'll be teaching in this academy personally, because otherwise, what could be the reason for him to leave coaching? Khabib leaving his coaching career ultimately means that he might not be permanently moving to his village. Instead, he might move to Dubai now. With this new school, he now has something to look out for. And as much as I know him as a fan, he's definitely going to work on the young players himself. Everybody have, have their own way, but I choose to show this, to show this, to represent this, and to be, to be proud of this. And this might also mean that he'll create a club for his relatives and the youngsters in his village as well. Also, he had set up a school in his hometown, if you remember. He might upgrade that school as well. It's very likely that the school in his hometown will be another branch of SKPC. And while we're on the topic, I want to talk about something else as well. I want to give you an overview of this new school. So according to the official website, the school has already launched performance clubs in North America, Africa, the Middle East, and Europe. And they definitely plan to grow further. According According to the statement from the partners, Khabib and Seedorf came to know that they have the same life mission and are both committed to giving back to the community. They stated that they want to influence the next generation in a positive way, and at this school, they'll make sure that the students get to improve their technical and their life skills. The main purpose is to help them create a healthy lifestyle and become good people for the community. And that's all for today, family. What did you think about this new venture? We'll see you in the next one.